Oi, tudo bem. Welcome back to Brazilian Heart Sharing English. Remember, understand as much as you can by listening first, then, if necessary, read the text. I will read this at a normal pace for day-to-day -day conversation, then we will review some focus words and phrases, and then I will read again at a very slow pace for you to listen and study, okay? Also, if you are not a Brasileiro, please see sharingenglish.com backslash blog for more general help. Let's go. Sophie is going to read a short passage that will highlight some phrases we reviewed on Facebook Sharing English this week. Okay. Hi, everyone. Sophie here to put a few common common idioms together in this paragraph and let you practice listening to English a little bit. Even though mom and I got up with the chickens today and she tried really hard to get this posted early, here we are at the end of the day, a day late and a dollar short, she had to begin to think this would never be gone. Anyway, here we are finally getting this posted. Eat your heart out, mom kind of like doing this. I kind of like doing this. I could read to these people blindfolded. Mom's going to be back. Oops, speak of the devil. <laughs> okay, we have some more words that are very similar, like last time, and I'd like to pronounce them for you so that you can hear the difference between them. I hope this helps with your pronunciation. So say this after me. Bear, bear, Burr, burr, care, care, cur, cur, fair, fair, fur, fur, hair, hair, her. Pear, pear, purr, purr. Now, a review of the idioms and an explanation of them, okay? Eat your heart out in mais ou menos como morra em de inveja, no? Able to do it blindfolded. Um, Você pode dizer, poderia fazê-lo com os olhos vendados, ok? Get up with the chickens, significa acordar com as galinhas. And a day late and a dollar short, um dia atrás e um dólar curto. And speak of the devil, falando o diabo, ok? So, thanks for stopping by and have a great night. Keep working on your English. Deus te abençoe. Ok? Então, mais uma vez, mais devagar, para você ouvir e praticar. Um, I'm going to put a few common idioms together in this paragraph and let you practice listening to English a little bit. Even though Sophie and I got up with the chickens today and we tried really hard to get this posted early, here we are at the end of the day, a day late and a dollar short. We had begun to think this would never get done. Anyway, here we are finally getting this posted. Eat your heart out, Sophie. <laughs> kind of like doing this. I could read to these people blindfolded. Okay? Mais uma vez. Obrigada. Deus te abençoe. Tchau, tchau.